Okay, so it was really fun to hear so many positive comments on the last video. And uh, since then, I'm pleased to say the Amiga rendering engine and all the stages of the game are uh, sort of fully translated and done. And really what I've got next to do on this is, uh, is implement some of the game logic and actually get the gameplay in there rather than this just being a tech demo. The main area I've been focusing on uh, are the background tile maps. Uh, these are responsible for rendering the clouds that you can see here. There's also another tile map uh, which scrolls in parallax in front of the clouds, which is the, the slight sort of green scenery you can see in the background. These tile maps are actually pretty wide. Um, I think some of them go up to about 2048 pixels in width. And what I've done is I've um, blasted these essentially to an off-screen buffer uh, and then I'm blitting them back to the screen as quickly as possible. Um, they also have the double effect of actually clearing some of the background display. So that is a saving in a way because I was doing that manually before, but some, some of the tile map actually does that for me. So you can see here, you know, I've, also, I've got things running pretty quickly now. Uh, this is actually running faster than the previous demo that I, that I, I, I showed. Um, I've managed to do a lot of optimization to the road rendering. I've come up with a lot of smart ways of doing things that use a little bit more memory, but I think those trade-offs are more than worth it. I mean, you can see here the speed at which things are running is actually pretty decent now. Um, I, I'm getting confident that we'll actually have a fully working version of OutRun, the arcade version on the Amiga. One of the most tricky things about some of the work that I've been doing is actually the level transition code. Uh, I'll show you sort of, we're just coming up to the level transition here where you can choose uh, which way you drive. Um, right now, obviously, I'm just gonna slow, slow this down a bit. Uh, so we'll just pause perhaps in front of the, in front of the road split. So yeah, right now I can just control this with, with my cursor keys here. I can just go, right, I'm gonna go left. Uh, but believe it or not, this section of the game is actually really difficult. You see the, another tile map swings in there from the other side. The palette fades in real time as well um, between the levels. I'll show you another level later with the road, which is even more complicated. That transition is a complete pain in the neck to do because you need four tile maps rendering on the screen at once. And whilst it looks really subtle and like nothing much at all, it's actually pretty, it took a long time and a lot of faffing around to get that done. So anyway, you can see you can smoothly transition from one level to the next here. Time round, a lot of people were asking me, you know, uh, what sort of Mega is this running on? I mean, this is a, a, a A1200. This is using AJ graphics. Uh, this has got an O30 accelerator card in, one of the modern terrible fire ones. They're pretty modest in terms of performance. They're 50 megahertz. Um, I'll show you another level transition here. Look, you'll see that the road really fade here. This is, this is kind of cool. There we go, so going on to the, the beach level. So the O30 came out in 1987, um, and you might be thinking, you know, like, well, surely the OutRun arcade hardware was pretty close to the Amiga. Not really, it wasn't. It was two 68,000 chips running in parallel. It had a lot of custom graphics hardware that was super, super powerful for the day, and the gulf between home machines and arcade was pretty substantial back then. So. Actually, uh, I, there's a lot of optimization work needed to get something like this, even running on an O30, because you're simulating all those graphics chips in software. Uh, what I am gonna do, once I get further into development on this, and um, I'm feeling a bit more confident that the approaches I've taken are actually the right ones, I'll make a series of videos really delving into the, the technical aspects of this project. Uh, but for right now, uh, the main thing that I'm going to probably try and release in a few weeks or, or whenever is like a demo so people can actually get this, run it on their Amiga themselves and 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 try it out and see see what they think. Um, and I'll be really keen to hear, hear their feedback. Until then, there's some sort of bugs and things like that that I want to fix. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get there. We're going to get OutRun on, on the Amiga.